Is it going? Yeah, it is. I'm just zooming in a little bit. Hi, everybody, and welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm doing my mom's makeup. I'm just going to get right into it. So we're going to start with the Benefit Professional Primer. This just helps to fill in the pores and smooth out the skin. Next, I'm going to go in with my mom's favorite foundations, the MAC Next to Nothing Face Color and the Becca Skin Love Foundation. And I'm mixing both of them with my Shop Miss A Wonder Blender and just putting them on the skin. The MAC Next to Nothing kind of allows the Becca to be a little bit more sheer and to apply really nicely onto her face and give it more even color without intense coverage. Next, I'm going to go into the YSL Touche Cla to brighten up the under eyes and conceal any discoloration that she has on her skin. My mom has really beautiful skin, and so there wasn't a lot to conceal, and it was just mostly to brighten the face just a little bit and add coverage since our foundation was pretty low coverage. Next with this IT Cosmetics brush, I'm going in with my Remel Stay Matte Powder and this is just to make sure that everything stays in place and this matte powder kind of adds just a little bit more coverage and smooths everything out. Next I'm going to bronze the skin with my favorite Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer. It just added a little bit of color to her skin and I didn't want to go in with a heavy contour because I thought that that would take away from the cleanliness of the skin look. So this added a little bit of extra shape and some warmth to her skin. Next, I went in with my Milani Rose Powder Blush. This is my favorite nude neutral blush and I just blushed up the tops of her cheeks. I had her not smile because I wanted to make sure that the blush was lifting up her face instead of dragging it down. And I thought this was just a perfect kind of nude color to complement her look. We kind of went for a slight natural glam. And so I wanted a little bit of extra luminosity to the face, but nothing that just kind of stood out too much. So I used my Becca Champagne Pop the Mini. This one is going to last me forever. And I used my ColourPop Fan Brush just to highlight the top points of her face. I find this highlighter to be really good for a glow from within kind of look, as long as you go in with a light hand. Next I took my favorite eyeshadow primer. This is the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion. And I'm using a Tati Lashes Baby Blender to just blend it out to make sure that it's smooth and even coverage all over her eyelid. My mom usually does kind of neutral eye looks with just one color, so today I wanted to do a nude glam look on her. So I used the MAC Art Library Nude Palette. This is a beautiful palette and the colors are all really nice and blendable. All of them are more on the neutral side, but you can create a variety of looks with all of these shades. You can see that there are some warm tones, some cool tones, and a nice distribution of mattes and shimmer shades. I had never used any of MAC's eyeshadows so this was a really fun experiment and I was really impressed with how well they blended but also I guess you don't get a reputation like this in the makeup world as a brand if your eyeshadows don't work well. So first what I did was I really defined the crease with a couple of colors here and there just to kind of add some dimension to her eye look. And then I went in with my finger and used that shimmery silver shade and took it all over her lid. This silvery shade is beautiful, but what I realized once I put it on her lid was that there was a ton of fallout and the sparkles just kind of went everywhere on her face and kind of ruined a little bit of the concealer that we had done underneath. So I had to clean up a little bit underneath her eyes afterwards. Next time, if I use this shade, I'm gonna go in with a glitter primer or I should have just done her eyes first. You can see me here cleaning up a little bit after the glitter, but even after reapplying some concealer and powder and trying to smooth everything out, you could still see some flecks of the glitter, but it still looked okay, so I moved on to eyeliner. This is my favorite eyeliner. I don't understand how this still has ink in it. I've been using this eyeliner maybe for four months now, and it still has ink in it. I'm so impressed. Next, I went in with my Lunin Aster Dawn to Dusk Brow Pencil. I picked this one over my Benefit pencil because this is a little bit warmer toned and my mom has a little bit more red in her eyebrows than I do, so it was a perfect shade and I also wanted to go in with a really light hand because my mom 
has perfect eyebrows already. So all I wanted to do was make them a little bit more intense so that they matched what I was doing on the eyes. Next, I took her Benefit Gimme Brow in four, and here you can see how different mine looks to hers. The label on mine is totally worn off, and hers, the label is super intact, and you can read everything, so it's just kind of a funny comparison. And now I am brushing everything through with the spoolie. Next, to kind of clean up underneath the brow, I used my ColourPop liner in the shade Honey Dude, and then I went in with a little brush and blended it out. Sorry about the footage. I'm still getting used to camera angles and everything. I was pretty much done with the eye look at this point, so I went in with some mascara. This is the new Laura Mercier Caviar Mascara, and I have used this a couple of times, so I can't tell if it's because the mini has dried out already, or if it just wasn't the right fit for my mom's eyelashes, and it wasn't intense enough, so I went in with my L'Oreal Lash Paradise Mascara, and that really was very voluminous. I think this one is getting a little dried out because it was clumping at the ends, so what I had to do was take my little Morphe M221 brush and kind of brush the clumps out, but it still gave my mom a really beautiful voluminous lash. Next, I went in with my mom's eyeshadow stick. This is from Lise Watier. I believe this is a Quebecois brand, so it's only sold in Canada and Quebec, but they do ship to the US, so if you're interested, you can buy it online. So I used that eyeshadow stick to add some color to the lower lash line, and then I wanted a little bit more of a smoky effect, so I went in with a color from the eyeshadow palette, and kind of lined the lower lash line with a darker brown color. And this is my Alamar Cosmetics eyeshadow brush. And then I went back in with mascara and put some on her lower lashes. You can see me trying to take the clumps out. I think it's time for me to get a new L'Oreal Lash Paradise mascara because this one was clumping so much. Next, it was time for lips, so I went in with the Nude Sticks Gel Color Lip and Cheek Balm in the shade J Mama. It's a beautiful nude shade that kind of leans more rosy brown toned, and I thought it would go perfectly with the eye look. But because of the thinness of the formula, it kind of bunched up around the inner part of her lip. So what I did was I took the ColourPop Cream Luxe Lipstick in Scorpio Moon and just added a little bit to the inner part of her lip. Finally, I set her face with the Skin & Co. Truffle Therapy Radiant Dew Mist, and she was all done. And this is the finished look. My mom and I had a really fun time making this video and I had such a wonderful time doing her makeup today. Thank you mama for being on my channel and to all of you who are watching this right now, thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and stay tuned for some really cute bloopers. Have a wonderful weekend and enjoy the rest of your day. Bye! <laughs>
called Truffle oh. Therapy Illuminating Refreshing <laughs> Skin Mist. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this is my favorite time I've ever done your makeup. What? Oh, good. I love you. Like, move, like, back and forth. Slow, slow. <laughs> like... Okay. <laughs> <laughs> this is going in the blooper. <laughs> When we are old. Oh, are they clean? Yes. I am. <laughs> That's the thumbnail right there. Thumbnail? What the thumbnail when, when people see when they when they click on the video, it's you <laughs> smiling like that. <laughs> Okay, I think you're good. <laughs> <laughs>